Yeah, Sergeant Marsh only had liability coverage on the SUV, which family valued around $7,000. They hope to raise that much to help with Marsh's rising property taxes. Between this check and the GoFundMe page, supporters have raised almost $9,000 for this veteran in need. Retired Army Sergeant Bill Marsh, maybe 93, but he hasn't lost his wit. How are you this morning? Uh, can I get back to you on that? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps the room laughing, especially when the Korean War veteran meets other former service members. He was in the Air Force and he was a Marine. Wow. <laughs> You're a brute for punishment. <laughs> Monday, the local charity Friends in Service of Heroes, or FISH, brought these veterans to Marsh's doorstep, and they didn't come empty-handed. So we brought you this check. We want you to have this to help you out going forward. Wow, that ought to help some. <laughs> $2,000 to go toward Marsh's property taxes, which have skyrocketed. Marsh's home has a reverse mortgage, and family says this Dodge Durango was really his only asset. He doesn't drive anymore, so family members tried to sell it for him for $7,000 on Facebook Marketplace to cover the taxes and other expenses. But as Fox 4 told you last week, Independence Police say a 17-year-old posing as a Target employee asked the family to meet at the store on East 39th Street March 20th on his break. He asked for a test drive and drove off before Marsh's family members could even get in the Durango. Police found, chased, and arrested the teen driver Tuesday, but the damage to the vehicle was obvious. My brother was able to identify him in a lineup, and, you know, he will not do this to anyone else. I hope he turns his life around. He's young. And by exceeding the goal, the family has the opportunity to put more money away from Marsh for his future. It's a brotherhood of service, and when we see somebody in need, we want to reach out and help them out. A brotherhood that goes well beyond yeah, the battlefield. Well, FISH runs entirely on donations, and they want us to let you know they're sponsoring an Armed Forces Day celebration at Wyandotte County Park May 20th. Well, as for Marsh's Durango, Bullard Automotive and R&K Body Shop plan to fix it and put on new tires all for free.